Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about Amazon Cloud Guru Reviewer and we'll try to understand what problem it will solve for us, what are its features and benefits, and in the end, we'll give you a demo to show how it works uh, to review our code. So let's first try to understand what problem it solves. In our development cycle, code review is very important, but we face many challenges with this process. Uh, as an example, sometimes it's very hard to find an expert reviewer. Uh, reviewers may focus only on the business logic and they forget other aspects of the code review. Uh, they, they might not be able to find all the bugs in your code. And with so much evolving, like best, best practices and libraries are evolving these days, for the reviewers it's very hard to catch up or keep up to date with, with all these new practices are coming. So now as we understand what challenges we face uh, while doing our code review. So let's see how code Guru reviewer can help us with that. Code Guru reviewer is a service offered by Amazon, which uses program analysis and machine learning to detect potential defect and recommends fixes in your Java and Python code, which are difficult for a developer to find. Code Guru reviewer is trained on millions of line of Amazon code and open source code. And it helps you to reduce uh, false recommendation by incorporating uh, developers' feedback. What does that mean? That uh, uh, whenever it provide any recommendation, as a developer, you can give feedback to it, and based on that feedback, they train or retrain their models and try to give you correct recommendation next time in case there is any false recommendation was provided. Uh, they keep keeps getting better with the increasing breadth of recommendations. So right now they support, uh, I think nine or 10 recommendation and these recommendation are keep on increasing day by day. So with every uh, few months or so, they are adding more recommendation to it, which helps you to uh, review your code in a better way. So, so with that, like you don't need to, or uh, any uh, developer don't need to keep up to date with all the best practices because uh, code query reviewer will train their model in such a way that whenever the new best practice is coming, so they will incorporate those and make sure that they are providing you comments uh, on on those new practices. So now as we understand how code query reviewer can help you to review your code, let's see how the whole model works. In our development, what we do, we cut out a branch and we make our changes locally. And then whenever we, after making our changes, we commit our code and then we create a pull request. The moment we create a pull request, we send it to one of the reviewer to review our code. So code query reviewers comes at that place. Whenever you create a pull request, code query reviewer will be triggered automatically and to start reviewing your code and it will provide you a recommendation. And based on the recommendation, you can make your changes and uh, recommit uh, those changes and create another pull request if you want. So right now, uh, it support all these repositories like AWS Code Commit, GitHub Enterprise Cloud, uh, GitHub Enterprise Server, Bitbucket, GitHub, and Amazon S3. And right now, it support only Java and Python languages. So let me go to the documentation. I want to show you a few other things before we move forward to the demo. Uh, which are uh, which might be helpful for you so if we go to the documentation uh, let's go to the main page so they are showing that what all recommendation they are uh, uh Review will provide you right now like all about all the aws best practices about the concurrency if you have any resource leak in your code so it will give you a recommendation on that as well uh, you have any sensitive information uh, in your code or uh, any common coding best practices uh, on refactoring, input validation, security analysis, code quality. So there are, there are plenty of recommendation. Uh, it, it will uh, basically it will evaluate to your code on all this and provide your recommendation on that. And uh, you can go to this link which I opened here and uh, it give you more idea about these recommendation that what kind of uh, what kind of uh, defects or uh, bugs you can find or it is going to find and, and present it to you. Uh, next, uh, I would like to show you that uh, it will require a IAM role because what code crew is going to do that it, it will re read your code from the code commit from your repository. So it will require a IAM role to review or read that code from your repository. So it's going to create a role on your behalf when you link it. 
uh, it also integrates with other products and services like uh, CloudTrail. Uh, so whatever API calls you're doing, uh, it support the APIs as well. So you can uh, call, create your repository or associate your repository with the code group by using the API. So all those calls can be recorded or uh, in the CloudTrail. Uh, in the CloudWatch, you can see that how many number of lines are um, reviewed and uh, about those things. So it integrates with the CloudWatch as well. Uh, integrates with the code commit because it has to review or read your code from there and similarly for the uh, all these repositories uh, it, it can in integrate next aspect comes from the security side because it's reading your code and uh, you might have a concern that uh, whether this code or whatever is reading is secure or not so uh, whenever it, it follow the shared responsibility model and shared responsibility AWS shared responsibility model is basically uh, AWS will take care of securing the cloud but anything in the cloud the data and all that you have to uh, secure it you have to make sure it's secure so when uh, whenever the data is in transit whenever it is reading from uh, your code uh, commit buckets or your repository it will be uh, encrypted with SSL and TLS, so you don't need to worry about it. Another thing, it provides the IAM, so you are you can use IAM policies and roles that who can access your code review reviewer, uh, so that you, uh, to avoid any unnecessary access or a person who should not have access can be uh, removed from from by using the IAM policies and roles. Uh, on the pricing side, uh, first three months they provide you free trial of that. And after that, uh, uh, if you talk about, uh, there are two kind of uh, review you can do. You can do review on the full repository and or you can do review only on the code you have changed. And I'll show you in the demo as well how it works. Uh, if you talk about only the pull request, they charge you 75 cents per 100 lines. And if you're talking about full rep uh, full repository analysis, then 50 cents per 100 lines for first these main lines and after that will be 40 cents per 100 lines so that's it i wanted to talk about on the uh, uh, theory side so let's go and uh, jump into the demo uh, for that we'll log in into our console and i'll show you how uh, you can uh, create the repository and uh, link your repository with the code code query reviewer and how the review is gonna work so guys i've logged it into my console AWS console and i am on amazon code Brew. Uh, screen you can find the same under services and if you go to machine learning you can click on amazon code view and it will take you to the same screen so when you uh, land on this screen uh, you can see it's getting started and the one thing you can do you can uh, start code view reviewer it will take you that you can associate your repository with the code view reviewer and like you mentioned that it support many different uh, repository type like bitbucket github uh, aws code commit so like if you have whatever repository you are using you can uh, associate it with, with your repository and uh, it will work so i will be working with a code commit so i'll start the code commit and it will list all the repository you have in your code commit uh, under your account it will uh, list it out here and then you can uh, link that repository with this code query reviewer and uh, one thing here like it mentioned an IAM role will be created to analyze your code uh, listen to pull request notification and the comments on pull request so like I mentioned it will be creating an IAM role behind the scene for you if you don't have one so like I have all these repositories so I can as it suppose I want to do it for the test demo I can click on that provide some tags here I can associate it from here but I've already associated it so I won't do it uh, or let me do it for this one just to give you a demo so you can see the moment you do it uh, test demo is associating the other thing you can do if you go to code commit and uh, the code commit again you can find under services and if you go to developer tool you can find code commit here if you create a new repository suppose test repository I'm creating and there is a checkbox on the bottom where you can enable code review reviewer for Java and Python so when you click on this checkbox 
it will again associate this rep it will create the repository and associate this repository with the code field reviewer as well so there are two places you can associate a repository with the code field reviewer uh, let's discard that so like it's associated here right okay so the next thing i wanted to show you that if you go uh, sorry it will open it will take you to the code commit only uh, under the code where you are reviewer you can see the repositories here and uh, if you want to disassociate in repository you can click on and you can click on disassociate the repository it will disassociate it from the code query reviewer uh, next thing is code query reviewer here you will see that whatever review you have done so far it will list out all the reviews here uh, it will keep it here for 90 days and after once the 90 days are over for any review it will remove it from your um, this list of uh, code grid review so only past 90 days uh, review comments will be listed after that it will be removed from here the another feature which we spoke uh, during the theory time as well uh, repository analysis so pull request is only for those requests when you are doing a pull uh, request getting a pull request so whatever changes you have done in your code it will check only those but if you go with the repository analysis repository analysis is basically uh, going through all your repository code and give you a recommendation based on that so let's do one thing let's create a repository analysis just to test it out and show how it works so in that you will select the repository you want to uh, you, you want to do a review on that and uh, you will give a source branch suppose you want to do it on master or you want to do it development so whatever branch name you have you have to provide the branch name and uh, it will automatically it will give a review name but if you want to change it to something else you can you can do that as well uh, so by doing that you can do the uh, repository analysis the whole repository uh, recently in this reinvent they added a new feature code and security uh, recommendation and that's only with the java so uh, just to give you an idea that earlier code grid reviewer was supporting only java language but with this reinvent they added python language as well and this new feature code and security recommendation is also uh, launched recently only during the reinvent time and what this uh, feature does is uh, if i show the uh, documentation it uh, review your code so it, it does two things one it will give you the code recommendation whatever recommendation it has in addition to that it also provides you security recommendation and when i say security recommendation it will be like if you have any sql injection ltap injection kind of thing or you are using your uh, java common java cryptography library so, or if you are using some hard coded credentials uh, for an api so those kind of thing if you have in your uh, code it will identify those things and it will point it out for you so let's do the code recommendation um, selecting this repository we'll do it for development branch and create oh. so it will run it will take a little bit of time because it's going through um, whole code and we'll come back and we'll see that what recommendation we'll see on this uh, next on the pull request so to to review your code for the pull request we'll go to our code commit and uh, you will go to your repositories and we'll we are using this code to demo repository we we'll click on that we'll go to pull request so in this to save some time what i've already already done that i have uh, make some changes to the code i have uh, commented those code uh, my kind of uh, committed those code and uh, to show you i have two branch one master and one dev, uh, development and uh, i made some changes to the development branch and now what we'll do we'll create a new pull request uh, let's go ahead and do it so my destination master source is development and if you do compare uh, you can see that in the bottom it will show you there are some code changes i've done in one of the file Let's keep a name or a title and so the moment I click on the create pull request like I mentioned uh, during the slide time that it will start reviewing your code. So let's click on that. 
if we go so i'm assuming code will review for java and python uh, so it will give you some information about that but if you go to activity you can see the amazon code review reviewer job status it's in progress right now if we go to code review reviewer and if you go to the pull request and refresh here you can see that this job is pending so i have done the similar thing yesterday so i can show you what kind of recommendation it will show you here and once it's complete i'll go through that as well so when you click on that particular uh, recommendation it will first it will show you that uh, <clears throat> how many lines of code it has uh, it reviewed what time and uh, started and what time it completed uh, what type of request it was um, and it will give the pull request id so that you can go directly in the code commit and see uh, what all changes was done on that on the bottom it will provide you the recommendation it will give you the file name in which uh, the changes or uh, defect it found it give you a little description about that and the good thing is it provide your link uh, how you can fix that so like in this case it provide an article that how you can use waiters in, uh, in in java and you can use that and fix your code and if you click on this link it will take you directly to the line number in that particular file uh, so it's as you can see that it gave you defect or it opened a defect on the line number 79 and it's on the line number 79 so similarly it gives you other uh, like here it's giving a recommendation on the outdated api that and it will provide you the link where you can get more information about the new api uh, and and so on so basically wherever it can provide you the link about the best practices like here so it will do that if you go to so right now spending let us complete and we'll come back to this if we go to code commit if we go to pull request and uh, this one is still going on so let's do the one which we did it earlier so once it's complete in the activity it will show the status as complete and here in the uh, underneath that you will see what all commands is showing so like on line number 17 it's here it's showing you the code as well that what line number and what are the code at the particular line number and it give you the same uh, description what, what you saw in the code reviewer screen. Uh, another thing which I forgot to mention here that uh, you can provide your feedback by clicking thumbs up or thumbs down on the code reviewer. It helps them that whether it, this review comment was helpful or not. Uh, on that code commit side, you can select these smileys here they are different uh, smileys they are uh, providing and based on that this is the feedback they are they are getting and based on that they can improve their recommendation and on top of that you can give your comment as well that uh, did you like this uh, review comment or not or if you want to provide any kind of feedback on this particular review comment so you can do that as well so uh, similarly what all the four review comment we saw here you will find everything here as well but uh, here it will show you the line or the code and uh, your recommendation is a little bit different or kind of have more options here to where you can provide recommendations uh, let's go to code review and see yeah so you can see that the one which we just started it's completed and you will see the same recommendation line number 79 it will provide you the similar thing uh, let's check out our repository analysis as well so it's completed so in the repository analysis again it give you the same kind of like uh, pattern is on the same line that it will give you line number where the issue is give you a little description and it will give you the link where you can go and check how you can solve that and provide some feedback so that's uh, it about the code grid reviewer guys uh, if you have any question on this let me know post a comment i'll be happy to answer your questions and uh, uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel i'll be putting more uh, videos on aws uh, products and services and uh, if you want to uh, listen or want to learn any any new service uh, please let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to record a video on that so thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you bye